Good morning, friends. I uh, thought we would share with you today on our day off and just kind of sit outside. We're a little later than normal today, but I'm going to read to you from our chairside chat, Psalm 69, verses 5 through 6. It says, Oh God, you know how foolish I am. My sins cannot be hidden from you. Don't let those who trust in you be ashamed because of me. O sovereign Lord of heaven's armies, don't let me cause them to be humiliated, O God of Israel. Um, how often have we thought or heard someone say, well, they're only hurting themselves. Usually that thought or statement is made in regard to someone we know who is sinning, but who won't turn from that sin. We can see the harm that it will do to them, even if they can't see it for themselves. The problem is that the thought is always wrong. Rarely, if ever, are they only hurting themselves. How many times have we seen an alcoholic destroy his or her family while refusing to seek help for their addiction? How often have we seen a spouse leave a devastated family, leave them behind to pursue an extramarital affair. How often have we seen a greedy person cheat or swindle people out of their savings? How often have we heard of drug dealers selling their products? To teens and children. What about gossip, envy, bitterness, hate, prejudice, lust, on and on and on. All of those sins affect or involve other people. If you're lusting, you're lusting after someone else. If you're envious, you're envy of someone else. If you're bitter, you're bitter at somebody else. If you're gossiping, you're not gossiping about yourself. You're gossiping about someone else. If you hate, you're hating someone else. If you're prejudiced, you're prejudiced towards someone else. All of these things affect other people. Sin affects more than just the sinner. Abraham's sin with Hagar has affected the Middle East even to today. The children of the covenant through Isaac and the children who weren't part of the covenant, Ishmael's children, still fight in the Middle East today. Achan's sin as the Israelites were coming into the land to conquer the land. Joshua was the leader because Achan stole some of the things that were dedicated to the Lord, Israel was defeated soundly at the small town of Ai. David's sin, as he decided to make a census of the fighting men of Israel, because he didn't fully trust God, he wanted to know how many men he had at his disposal. David's sin with the census caused tens of thousands of deaths next time we are tempted to think they or I am only hurting themselves or myself, may we remember that sin always affects others. That's the nature of sin. It destroys not just the sinner, but those around who are affected by that sin. Lord, remind us of how dangerous our sin is. 
stir our hearts to turn from our sin and ourselves and turn to you to follow you completely. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, friends. Thanks for your time this morning. We'll do it again tomorrow. God bless you.